Hello guys, welcome to my class. Last time, we talked about requesting appropriate supplies, materials, tools, and equipment for a specific job. Now, now that we are going to study today, it's all about select measuring tools and instruments. What are those tools and instruments used when it comes to electrical wiring installation? All right. Measurement. Measurement it is the process or the result of determining the ratio of a physical quantity such as a length, time, temperature, and etc. to a unit of measurement such as the meter, second, or degree Celsius. When we say measurement, guys, measurement is defined as the act of measuring or the size of something. Ito yung sukat no? ng isang bagay na kinakailangan nating kuhanin. Alright? An example of measurement means the use of a ruler to determine the length of a piece of paper. An example of measurement is 15 inches by 25 inches. The dimension, quantity, or capacity determined by measuring. Ibig sabihin, Napaka-importante ng measurement, ng pagkuha ng measurement upang matiyak natin, malaman natin kung tama ba, kung accurate ba, kung akma ba, kung naaayon ba, kung sakto ba yung sukat na kinakailangan nating kuhanin no? sa paggawa ng ating proyekto when it comes to electrical wiring installation. Alright? The science of measurement is called metrology. Metrology, it is the scientific study of measurement, guys. Alright? The English word measurement originates from the Latin mensura and the verb metiri through the Middle French measure. Alright? That is the importance of measurement, guys. Alright? Now, Electrical measuring tools and instruments are sensitive and delicate, so extra care is necessary in handling them. Yung mga tools at mga instrument na kinakailangan natin sa electrical wiring installation ay napaka-selan, guys. Kailangan ng extra care, kailangan ng pag-iingat. These are used to measure currents, voltages, resistances, wattages, and other important elements in electrical works. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga ginagamit natin upang malaman, upang sukatin kung meron bang power kuryente na dumadaloy sa kable ng kuryente na ating gagamitin o maaari nating gamitin when it comes to electrical wiring installation. Alright, this topic will tackle the function, the use of each measuring tool and instrument used in doing electrical tasks. Sa mga tools at mga instrument na atin tatalakayin, malalaman natin kung paano natin sila gagamitin. Alright, now, number one, we have test light. Ayan, test light. It is a packet size tool used to test the line wire or circuit if there is current in it. Alright, ibig sabihin, it is a piece of electronic test equipment used to determine the presence of electricity in a piece of equipment under test. It is also used to check for the presence of voltage on a conductor. Ang gamit ng test light ay para malaman natin, para ma-check natin kung mayroon bang 
kuryente kung meron bang power like for example dun sa convenience outlet na ating gagamitin titingnan natin yon i-check natin yon kung meron bang power na maaring gamitin alright that's the use of test light guys now I will show you the video on how to use test light alright doing simple wiring issues like this over an ohm meter is it's easy to use and that's all you really need to do is ground it take a piece of metal uh, you usually want to try to ground it to a bolt bed I've used this spot before and it's a pretty good ground so you just ground one end of the test light and the other end right here is what you want to probe the wire with um, if it's a wire on a trailer you basically you want to watch out for your finger and you're going to want to like probe the wire like right here right here right here just probe whatever one seems to be a problematic issue and the light should light up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in the end since i don't need to probe the wire because i know this end is good and i'll show you what happens all right so if you're trying to diagnose an issue when you're wiring uh, whether it's on your vehicle or on your trailer or on like a pop-up trailer trailer no matter what it is um all you need to do is you can put it in here and that's what it'll do um, we know that this green wire right here is a turn signal because it's blinking i have the turn signal on in the vehicle and all the rest of these are dead because there's no power to them yet but if i put the um parking light on like another one would be lit so let's turn the parking light on and we'll see what happens all right so now with the parking light on you can see that going to the trailer there is a parking light circuit that works and there's a turn signal circuit that worked and if we had the brake lights on um, you know you would see that the brake lights would work also so like i said if you try to troubleshoot a circuit um, usually you want to put like the wiring on a flat surface and um tech i'll show you how to do it right now this is all you would do is kind of stick the test light in it like that and just probe the circuit and that's all there is to it so i hope this uh video helps you helps you guys out i know you had a few questions on how to use one of those and where to pick them up you can pick them up at like lowe's or home depot or even at your local auto parts so they're not hard to find and they're not very expensive so hope you like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you have any comments definitely leave a comment or a question and i'll reply back to you next micrometer micrometer is used to measure the diameter of wires or conductors in circular mills. It can measure small and big sizes of wires and cables. The main function of micrometer is to measure. No, It is a measuring instrument that can make extraordinarily precise measurements. Ibig sabihin, ito yung ginagamit upang malaman natin kung gaano kalapad yung kable ng kuryente na ating gagamitin when it comes to electrical wiring installation. Alright? Kung gaano siya kalaki, kung gaano siya kalapad, kung gaano siya kataba. Alright? That's the main purpose of micrometer. Okay. Next. Wire gauge. Wire gauge is used in determining the size of wires or conductors. The gauge ranges from 0 to 60 American wire gauge. Ayan, American wire gauge is a standard method of measuring and identifying cable thickness developed in the United States for electrically conductive wire. Each gauge is represented by a number, kung makikita nyo, no? with the smaller numbers representing thicker wire gauges and higher numbers signifying thinner wires. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, kapag maliit yung numero ng wire gauge, ibig sabihin, makapal yung kanyang wire. Pero, kapag malaki naman yung number, manipis ang wire nito. Alright? Did you get it? Okay. Next. Ruler. Ruler is the instrument used to rule straight lines and the calibrated instrument used for determining the length 
called a measure and ruler we all know that ruler it is a tool used in geometry technical drawing engineering and carpentry it's also used to measure the lengths or distances para ma-measure natin kung gaano kahaba or yung distances na ginagawa natin or to draw straight lines alam naman natin lahat na ang ruler ay ginagamit ito no to draw straight lines ginagamit ito sa math sa geometry sa technical drawing kapag nagdo-drawing tayo sa engineering all right and carpentry at marami pang iba all right next pull push rule it is a measuring tape that coils into a compact case ayan it is used for measuring long short and straight lengths ayan pull push rule it is a measuring tool used to measure the length of an object in centimeters and inches ayan that cannot be measured by a ruler guys no etong pull push rule na ito ginagamit natin siya para sukatin yung mahahaba no yung malalaking sukat na hindi kayang sukatin ng ruler kaya tayo gumagamit ng pull push rule all right okay next ammeter ammeter it is an instrument used to measure the amount of electrical current intensity in a circuit the unit of measure is ampere all right the letter a it is connected along or series to the circuit and ammeter guys it is a measuring device that is used to measure the flow of electricity in the form of current in a circuit ang ammeter guys no kung makikita nyo ito yung ginagamit nating device upang masukat natin upang malaman natin kung meron bang electricity kung meron bang power na dumadaloy dun sa kuryente dun sa kable ng kuryente na ating ginagamit alright that is ammeter guys alright next voltmeter it is an instrument used to measure electrical pressure or voltage of a circuit the unit of measure is volt and the letter V this is connected across or parallel to the circuit and voltmeter guys no also known as voltage meter it is an instrument used for measuring the potential difference or voltage between two points in an electrical or electronic circuit ibig sabihin ng voltage guys voltahe ito yung ginagamit natin upang masukat yung lakas at bisa nung kuryente nung power na dumadaloy dun sa kable ng kuryente na ating ginagamit alright that is the main function of voltmeter alright now I will show you the video on how to use ammeter and voltmeter okay credit to the owner of this video The most common mistake when analyzing circuits is using an ammeter the same way that one uses a voltmeter. Learning the difference is essential when studying circuits. A voltmeter reads the electrical potential difference between two leads. The proper configuration is to connect the voltmeter parallel to the points of interest on the circuit. The immense internal resistance of the voltmeter ensures that current is only flowing in the circuit itself and not the voltmeter. An ammeter reads the current flowing through the meter from one lead to the other. The proper configuration is to connect the ammeter in series with the circuit, or circuit branch of interest. The internal resistance of the ammeter is nearly zero, which minimizes the change in current that naturally occurs when adding a load to a circuit. A convenient alternative to the two devices is to use a multimeter. A multimeter can measure either voltage or current in a circuit, as well as many other relevant values. When using the multimeter to measure voltage, connect the red lead to the designated voltage input. When using it to measure current, connect the red lead to the designated current input. When dealing with large currents, use a 10 amp input. When using small currents, use the micro and milliamp input.
remember to connect either in series or in parallel as required by the type of measurement. And if you have any questions, give us a call. We're here to help. Clamp ammeter. It is also called tongue tester. It is used to measure current flowing in a conductor. It is a clamp or hang in a conductor. Clamp ammeter, it detects the magnetic field emitted by the current flowing in a wire in order to measure the current value. Ibig sabihin, maaari din natin gamitin ito upang mas measure natin upang makuha natin yung sukat upang malaman natin yung flow yung daloy ng power ng electricity no na dumadaloy dun sa kable ng kuryente or ng conductor conductor means it is a material or device that conducts heat or electricity all right that is the main purpose of clamp ammeter. Isasabit mo lang siya, guys. Ihahang mo lang siya. Alright? Masusukat na niya. Yung kuryente, yung power na dumadaloy dun sa kable ng kuryente, dun sa conductor. Alright? I will show you the video on how to use clamp ammeter. Credit to the owner of this video. Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to use a clamp meter. Clamp meters are electrical testing devices that are capable of measuring current in either AC or DC. These devices can be identified by the set of jaws used for testing, which are used to clamp around conductors to get a measurement. To take a measurement, I can turn the dial to select AC amps indicated by the letter A and a sine wave, or I can select DC amps with the letter A with two lines above it. I can then press the button to open the jaws and go around the conductor to be measured. I will only need to go around one single conductor and not a group of conductors to take a measurement. It is also important to make sure that the clamp is not directly clamping onto the conductor. The conductor should rest inside the clamp. The current measurement should appear on the screen. This can show how much current is being drawn by a load. Many clamp meters can also be used as a voltmeter. Test leads can be attached to the corresponding port and the dial can be switched over to voltage. Readings are then taken with the red and black test probes. Some clamp meters may have additional functions found on multimeters. This can include settings such as diode check, continuity test, resistance measurement, and frequency measurement. Most of these settings can be used with the test probes, but the frequency setting uses the clamp meter jaws around a conductor as if measuring for current. This will indicate the frequency and can be used to track down electrical disturbances such as harmonics. Clamp meters along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com. Okay, next. Voltometer or VOM, otherwise called as multi-tester. It is used to measure the voltage, resistance, and current of a circuit. It is connected in a parallel or series with the circuit depending on what to measure. Alright, voltometer guys. It is an electronic measuring instrument that combines several measurement functions in one unit. It is a typical multi-tester or multimeter that may include features such as the ability to measure voltage, current, and resistance. Ibig sabihin, napakarami niyang pwedeng gawin. Maaari niyang sukatin, kuhanin. Maaari mong malaman sa pamamagitan ng voltmeter yung lakas, yung bisa, alright? At yung kakayahan ng kuryente, ng power na dumadaloy 
dun sa kable ng kuryente na iyong ginagamit or maari mong gamitin. Alright? That is the main purpose of voltometer. I will show you the video on how to use voltometer. Alright? Credit to the owner of this video. In this video, I'm going to cover multimeters and how to use them to measure voltage, current, resistance, and continuity. First up, where do you buy a multimeter? Well, multimeters are everywhere. You can get them at Radio Shack, Sears, Dollar Stores, Walmart, Amazon, eBay, whatever's easiest for you. First up, at the bare minimum, make sure the meter you're looking at can measure voltage, current, resistance, and continuity. If you can find one that measures capacitance and temperature as well, go for it. Next, the multimeter should have a digital display, not that old school analog crap, and it should have auto-ranging functionality for as many things as possible. Trust me, you don't want to waste your time screwing around with manual ranging. If you're too lazy to shop around, just get this one. 50 bucks, it'll do everything you need, and you won't outgrow it anytime soon. Okay, so now you have a multimeter, how do you use it? Let's start with measuring DC voltages. First, check the cables. Make sure the black lead is in the jack labeled COM or COMMON. And once it's in there, you'll never need to take it out, because the black lead always goes to COMMON. The red probe, on the other hand, is something you'll have to pay very close attention to. If you plug it into the wrong jack, you will blow a fuse in your multimeter. We want to measure voltage right now, so I'm plugging in the red lead into the jack labeled volts, not amps. Next, set the dial to measure DC voltage. Touch the red probe to the positive terminal of your device, and the black probe to the negative terminal of your device, and you should get a voltage reading. If you get the wires backwards, that's okay, you'll just get a negative reading on your multimeter. And that's actually a good way to figure out polarity. Now you can measure voltages in pretty much any DC circuit, as long as you're careful to not short anything out with the metal probes. Okay, let's move on to measuring AC voltages. Set the dial to the AC voltage setting, and again, make sure the red lead is in the jack labeled voltage. Touch the probes to the AC voltage source that you want to measure, and you'll get your reading. As long as you don't touch the metal parts of the probe or short them out, this is perfectly safe. And as you would expect, there's no AC voltage coming out of this DC battery. Measuring resistance is easy too. Make sure the red lead is in the jack labeled ohms for resistance, and set the dial to the resistance setting. Here is me measuring the resistance of the skin on my hand. Here's me measuring the resistance of a resistor. And here I am measuring the resistance of a speaker. Now you might be wondering if you can measure the resistance of something in a circuit. Well, unfortunately it most likely won't work. You're going to have to remove the resistor from the circuit before measuring it. Next, let's talk about continuity. Measuring continuity basically just means checking whether or not there's a good connection between any two points in a circuit. To measure continuity, make sure your red probe is in the jack labeled continuity, or in my case resistance, and set the dial to the continuity setting. Test that the continuity function is working correctly by touching the probes together. Whenever there's almost zero resistance between two points, the multimeter will beep. You can use the continuity function to check if cables are internally broken or not. In the context of circuit boards, if there's a good copper trace between any two points, the multimeter will beep. If the circuit board is messed up, no beeps for you. Finally, let's use our multimeter to measure current. Set the dial to the amp setting. For almost all multimeters, there's going to be a separate jack just for measuring current. My multimeter has two. One for currents up to 10 amps, and one for currents up to 400 milliamps. I usually start out with the amps jack, but if I need more accuracy, I can switch to the milliamps jack later. Now, measuring current is a little trickier than the rest of things. I can't just touch the probes and get an amp reading. In order to see how much current is flowing through a wire, I have to cut the wire and splice in the multimeter in series with the flow before I can get a measurement. Here I have a simple circuit with a battery pack, a motor, and some wires. In order to measure the current drawn by the motor, I cut the wire, splice in the multimeter, and now I can see that the motor is drawing 60-ish milliamps. If I want more accuracy, I can switch to the milliamp settings, and now I can see that the motor is drawing somewhere between 57 and 63 milliamps. Alright, thanks for watching and have fun with your new multimeter. Okay, and here ends our lesson about selecting materials, tools, and instruments when it comes to electrical wiring installation. Okay guys, thank you for listening. 
Thank you for your time. Good day and God bless you all.